Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, today, I'd like to talk about um, an important project. Basically, our data landscape is broken. So much of the data we try to use for data science has lost its original context, so it takes ages to work out exactly what this data means and how useful it is. The, the, the p missing piece is metadata. Metadata provides information about the original context, how the data was created, what its structure is, and what it means. Now, if we had good metadata across all our data landscape, we would start to be able to build an enterprise catalog so that we can find the data that we need, not just within the enterprise, but much more broadly. When we bring in new tools from many vendors, these tools can all connect to it. Then, if that metadata management is embedded in the platform, the, um, that metadata, as new data comes available, then it's, then it, then it's of use. Um, finally, as you, start to, um, as you start to build up that world of knowledge inside the metadata repository, um, people can collaborate around data. And you really start to get a data-driven organization. Um, we can start using metadata to drive governance enforcement. So as the Chief Data Office defines the requirements for how sensitive data is managed, for example, that can be embedded in the engines that drive the data pipelines. So you start to get an environment where there's increased trust in the data that's being used. Now, what happens today is that every vendor believes that their metadata repository is king, that it's the master copy, and that you buy their product, and they bring all the meta you bring all the metadata into that product, and then their tools work. The reality is that there are so many cloud platforms, data platforms, systems where that data originates, that it is impossible for a single vendor to provide coverage across the data landscape. So we need to start thinking differently about the way metadata is managed. If you think about 30 years ago, you used to buy a TCP IP stack for your system in order to connect to the internet. That, doesn't, that is now embedded into every laptop, every system. Similarly with security, that used to be an add-on. Now it's embedded. So we need to start thinking about, since, metadata, since data is so important to many businesses, um, and in fact, any, any organization's operation, we need to start thinking about metadata as being a standard capability within um, a platform. Now, there are many, many metadata standards. That doesn't seem to be solving the problem. What we really need is an implementation that everybody can use. So there is an area that has actually been incredibly successful in common metadata management. And that is, of course, digital photography. You know that you can buy a digital camera or your phone, take a photograph, and load it into almost any um, application that's dealing with photographs, and you can see that metadata. That metadata is captured by your camera, and it covers many aspects about the light levels, the, the type of camera that was used, the location of the photograph. Think what it would be like if all types of data had this level of integration at the platform that would allow a multi-vendor environment uh, for metadata. So we would effectively have, um, in fact, a bus. So this is saying metadata shouldn't be loaded into a single repository. Metadata repositories need to be peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, they need to be able to exchange. That means we need standard formats for metadata um, that will allow different vendors' um, metadata to exchange and also for that metadata to be embedded into the data platforms, such as a Hadoop platform, um, and it's automatically managing that metadata as we go. So we need to rethink the way that um, we manage metadata and governance. Everything must be automated as much as possible because we all know we're not very good at filling in metadata. Um, we need to make it ubiquitous. Because it's all very well having the data science platform enabled with metadata, but all the downstream systems need to be as well, plus the places that we distribute to. If we're going to sell data, we're going to have a data economy. We need ways for 
not just the license for the data, but also the description of that data and how it should be used in data science goes with the data in a standard format. Um, we need to be able to access metadata in open APIs. You think about data systems in the cloud. You can't get in and put your own infrastructure underneath there to monitor what's going on. Those systems need to be doing the metadata management out of the box with open APIs that you can connect to and see, where, see what's happening to the data on that platform. Um, we need to use metadata to govern the management of data. And that means that business people, data experts, are not relying on IT teams to actually code new rules around how data is managed. Because the data regulations are moving forward fast, um, and, we need to, and we need to cover them. Um, and wherever possible, tools that work with data should be able to read that data and use it by default. So we start to get an environment where data is not just zeros and ones. Data always has a context and, um, a re a, and enough information to allow it to be used safely. So what does this look like? We need, again, to think about these repositories as peer-to-peer -peer, um, systems. They may be in the cloud. They may be on premise. They need to be gathering metadata and managing it as close to the source of the data as possible, um, and then making it accessible across it. We need to think about federated queries across these repositories, but also replication between the repositories wherever performance is an issue. Um, and uh, we need to support these thousands of metadata open standards that we have, each focused on a tiny part of a single type of data but actually bring that in together into a coherent whole that enables data science across a variety of data. So how can you help? How are we approaching this? So at IBM, we have a lot of data tools. We have data platforms. And we've realized even within our own portfolio that this is incredibly difficult to manage without um, some sort of open ex uh, external definition of how metadata should be managed. Most of the design decisions we make around a metadata repository actually are not valuable innovation. What we need to do is to say, no, stop. Let's not innovate at the metadata repository level. Let's make that an open source platform that we can all use. So we've chosen Apache Atlas as this, as this metadata base. And we want to turn it from um, a Hadoop-based um, gatherer of metadata to um, an open metadata platform with a full range of data standards from basic data understanding, glossaries, collaboration information, governance information, lineage, uh, as well as discovery analytics, allowing us to create that rich enterprise catalog um, that, that's interconnected. Now, with open source, open source gives us a community where we can discuss what these structures should be and collectively contribute to the implementation. Having an open implementation lowers the barrier of entry for metadata management. And this will allow many more vendors to be able to, um, to, be able to have metadata built into their platform, and also to, for other vendors to say, it is worth me building my tools on this open standard because there is such an ecosystem sitting behind it. So this is something where we want to change the industry. We want to change the way that data is managed in IT systems to make that data more valuable um, than it currently is. So um, th given it's an open, open community, this is Apache Atlas community. There is a wiki. In, on that wiki, we have put um, information about um, the work that we're doing, the different projects, the gyras that are open. Um, and please, you're very welcome to join us to enter into the discussion to help us get these formats as wide and as useful as possible um, and, uh, um, and, give us <laughs> and give us the best metadata platform that will enable our industry. Thank you very much.